Hi everyone, my name is Grace Holloway and I am the owner of Icing for Isaac. I am also a wife, I am a mom, I am a cake hobbyist turned professional. I am dedicated to the people and the things that I believe in. I am an attempted suicide survivor and I am a postpartum depression warrior. I am determined to be the help that I couldn't find and I am incredibly grateful to be here today. Your first question might be, who is Isaac? And let me introduce him. In 2017, I found out I was pregnant with twins. In December, I learned that one of my twins was no longer growing and I was completely devastated. Every day it was harder to function and harder to imagine my life with one identical twin. I was drowning in postpartum depression so much so that I could hardly breathe. After delivery, I was emotionally paralyzed for about eight months and then one of my friends asked me to make a cake for her daughter. Reluctantly, I did and it was the best decision I could have ever made. Making that cake made me so happy and I wanted to make sure that my son wasn't forgotten. So overnight, Icing for Isaac was created. The lack of knowledge and resources for postpartum depression is startling. People don't know how to approach someone struggling or how to offer help, so they may say things that honestly just make the situation worse. I have people say things like, at least you still have one, or, well, it was early, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't affect you so much. And to them, I would just respond, which one of your children could you live without? Had I not taken, tried to take my own life in 2013 and lived to see how deeply it affected my mom and my husband, I would have done it in August of 2018, just one month after delivering my boys. We have had way too many conversations about the struggles of birth trauma, loss, infertility, and postpartum depression that take place behind closed doors. Moms just like me are ashamed to share their story or even speak about it for fear it won't be taken seriously or they will be judged for not being good enough. So many moms struggle alone and that just simply has to stop. After losing my son, I found that Fort Wayne is deeply lacking in this area, so I decided if I couldn't find the help that I needed, I would be the help. I started my cake business in honor of my son, promising to share my story with as many people that would listen and filter as many families as possible to the connections that I already had. I've been able to mentor countless moms through miscarriages they never told anybody about, infertility struggles, and how to survive postpartum depression by sharing the steps that I took to overcome it. My business has grown incredibly fast and it has been a beautiful journey so far. In March of 2019, I started baking cakes for my home kitchen just a couple of weeks. By August of 2020, I had outgrown that space and moved into a commercial kitchen down at the summit. There I was making four to five cakes a week and a few dozen cupcakes and after just one year I had outgrown that space as well. In August of 2021 I moved down here to the landing at Alto Grotto and um, it's been amazing. I have eight to ten cakes a week, roughly 11 dozen decorated cookies and a couple weddings. Being in such a high traffic area and working with Rick, the owner, has been the biggest blessing I could have ever imagined. I was also voted Best Wedding Baker 2021 Reader's Choice Award and that was so exciting. I'm so grateful for all the growth and all the doors that have opened for me by sharing my story. If I win tonight, my immediate investment would go to a 20 quart mixer. Right now I have two six quart and that would just, I could work twice as fast. My long-term goal is to open my own cake shop similar to the Cake Bake Shop in Indy. Um, pink, sparkly, glamour, chandeliers, flowers as far as you can see, cake bar, fine dining, and a room and two rooms specific for grieving families. Comfy chairs, survival stories, and brochures as far as you can see. Um, and I'd like to hold a monthly meeting as well partnered with counseling to help postpartum depression moms. Sometimes the hardest part is asking for help because you feel like you shouldn't need it. If there was a casual place that you could go and sneak off to a quiet room and find help for yourself, it would be very rewarding. Baking cakes and making a name for my son that he didn't get a chance to make for himself is my passion. Helping other moms feel less alone and moving this sensitive topic mainstream is my mission. If you can't find the help, be the help.